something that I've come to realize is that I can't handle a lot of things. I need to pare down the things that the things that take up my time and energy so that I can focus more on what does matter to me. And so one way to approach this is to um, pare down your possessions. I'm the type of person who likes a tidy space, but I have not been able to maintain that tidy space, and so every time I have free time, I'm usually spending it putting away clothes or cleaning up clutter, and it's very exhausting, and I think it's kind of a waste of time. I read the book, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Marie Kondo. This is helping me um, jump into a more minimal lifestyle. She guides you through getting rid of things that you don't care about or things that don't serve you or make you happy. And so I went through this process a couple days ago. It took me all day. So Marie says that tidying up is a one-time event. It should not happen every day. You should mark it on your calendar and it's a special event that you do one time. You knock it all out in one shot. By the end of it I had three bags of trash, I had three bags um, of things for Goodwill, and I had a few bags of things that I wanted to try to sell. So the KonMari method is what her method of tidying is called. Um, and to start it, you go by category. So you start with clothes, and then you move on to books, and then you move on to papers, and you, there are some other categories. Um, and so you, when you start with your clothes, you take every item of clothing that you own and you put it on the floor. And one by one, you, you pick up a piece of clothing and ask yourself if it sparks joy. And if it does, you keep it, and if not, you get rid of it. After you are left with only the things that you love, only the things that make you happy, you can start to designate a place for each of those things. Now, Marie Kondo has many, many storage tips, so I would highly recommend that you buy the book. I lived with my boyfriend, and he did not go through this process, but I was the one who needed to go through this process. So um, I'll show you what our home looked like before I did this and what it looks like now. So here's what it looked like before. It um, was very cluttered. Most of the things that you see that look junky are my things. Then I'll show you what it looks like now. As you can see, there are only a few items that might look out of place, and those things are not mine. So, la di da, I did it, I, I win. And um, so it's amazing, and I am off from work again today. And usually, it would take me a few hours to tidy up so that I would finally feel um, a peace of mind in the house and I could actually enjoy the day off. But today, all I had to do was wake up and everything is already where it belongs and there isn't anything I need to put away. Um, every time I use something, I know exactly where to put it when I'm finished. So I hope that this was helpful for you. If you want to read a little bit more about my process, um, becoming more minimalist, um, you can go over to likeminimal.com and I will link it in the description box below. And I hope you have an awesome day.